Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna and I am a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Zuala, Cameroon. Thank you very much for clicking on today's link. Okay, so today we're going to be having <laughs> a story time, guys. This is not one story. I'll give you like three stories of experiences I have had with theft, with scamming, with like insecurity in Cameroon basically okay so I'm going to begin first of all with this story see guys this was sometime back in I think 2011 20 2010 2011 I think okay so at this time my friend was working in Mutengene she was teaching in Regina Patches in Mutengene if you know Mutengene you know Regina Patches so my friend was teaching in Regina Patches okay <laughs> guys my friend was teaching in this school so we used to spend a lot of time I used to spend a lot of time in her house and yeah so um i think there was this weekend we decided to go to limbe we had something to do in limbe i think a funeral or something so we went for this funeral in limbe and we stayed it was an overnight wake keep something like that so when we got up the next morning it was like we left 5 a.m we left limbe at around 5 a.m so we came back we're coming back to mutengene to come and just sleep rest take baths and all that so when we're coming back home now guys there uh, if you know mutengene well there's this um there's this big junction where you go down to um you go down like this to limbe you go like this to tiko and then you go like this to boya the boya place is kind of a hill so they dropped us because the car we took was going to tiko it dropped us at that carrefour at that junction so that we should go down and cross and go towards the boya section because that's where we're leaving so we dropped and we're crossing ah uh -uh. we're crossing we're looking nice like yes i've told you before people slay at funerals we're, we're, we're all snatched up okay <laughs> just that we lacked sleep so we were, we're walking and i think that these people these people spotted us from afar and they were just like maga maga day maga day uh -uh. so we crossed and we're climbing like where they take excuse me where they take cars to go to boya as we're climbing we're walking and just discussing uh -uh. somebody this guy just passed and hit my friend because she was the one walking at this side so people the guy was just passing he passed and he hit Katy. Katy was like he really you know hit so hit you really hard that you turn so she turned and the guy was like ah how how for you mama me and i saw you don't big long time ah. <laughs> well like now who did say like long time you don't stay was you mama me half for papa half for mommy how own ah, ah, ah. so my friend Katy her dad knows so many people so somewhere in her head she's like okay maybe this is one of her dad's children or one of the people who knows her dad maybe that so she cannot just be talking anyhow she was very polite she was like yes that did they find all that all that ah. so he was like greet me now she sent her hand he greeted him then the man i don't even know who the, <laughs> the guy started doing something he was making something something making like that shake it shake it then he was like i don't even i don't even know what, what was that but guys <laughs> if you have grown up in the southwest i've told you all those stories about mutengene so we already i already knew that this is a scam the guy was doing something doing something he started shaking shaking he went he walked away from us stood somewhere i was shaking and doing I was like, what is this uncle doing? So one of the mates, his mates now now came. I was like, hey, auntie, you greet that man. Hey, auntie, you are finished. So oh, auntie, you greet that boy. You greet <laughs> it was so funny. Like that drama was so funny. You're like, you greet that boy. You don't finish. You don't go feel born again. It don't take naya womb. When it greet woman, they eat time that is so it don't take naya womb. Oh. You don't go feel born. Ah, ah. We're just like <laughs> You know, first of all, the first, I'm not even going to lie, my first reaction was fear. I was like, hey, what has happened to? Then inside my head, I'm like, we're not from Mutengene. Like, use your brain. We are in Mutengene. These people are lying. So that was my second reaction. Like, these people are lying. They are scammers. They are trying to scam us. So, I just grew kind of scared, but I thought, I just thought that Kachina lying. These people are scam. So we started walking up. The guy was like, you go 
You did go better come on. We get for go beggy. Find anything where you get and beggy because if you know beggy now, all that you know go feel born. <sighs> We're just like uncle. It's okay, man. No born. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. May carry the wungo mercy. That boy was there trying to convince us. Another guy came trying to convince us. We were just going, we're like, it's okay, we'll not go born. We don't yet. <laughs> we were walking off and everybody there just started laughing because they were just like, chai, they get and dry. I, I'm like, well, I don't dry. You pussy us coming out at 6 a.m. We no fear. <laughs> so that's the first thing. And they do those things in different kind of ways. That's how they'll be taking money from people. That's how they took my friend 75 thousand without her even knowing she removed everything that she had on her and gave so you have to be really really careful like you have to be careful especially when they see you coming off a car you want to enter a next car to go to boya they always look at people like that because sometimes they're just like maybe this is somebody from Duala. it's their first time here they don't even know anything we can just make use of this one we can use this one so you have to be very smart when you're going there don't talk to nobody don't look at nobody mind your business no matter what they are saying don't listen just enter your car and be going to where you're coming from so the next thing the next calm i'm going to talk about there eh, is this one now that is going on see you have to be careful when it comes to mobile money a lot of thieves are out there this has happened to me like two times i tried catching it on camera but i did not succeed see the scammers out there are real they will be trying to scam your money trying to remove your money you have to be very careful for me first of all i'm just like you people are too stupid like even if you want to send me a message you want you're sending me a message with your number as in are you are you crazy let me show you guys what i mean so this is what they send to you they send you a message instead of when normally mobile money sends you a message it is written up mobile money to show you that the message is coming from mobile money but when i look and i see your number i'm just like <laughs> i will deal with you today and i will not just deal with you as in i will finish your credit you will be calling me and i will be picking it and i will show you pepe so that's what they do they would just i don't know how they do it but they just guess your number probably and i don't know they have a way that they get your information okay because they'll call you and be like madam oh madam eh i beg i don't just make mistake i send you 150,000. i beg you see send her back for me and see i beg oh now my last money that my picking there for hospital my this is this 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 my dad 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 if you listen now you sabi if you have your personal 150k in your account now you sabi that is how they are going to steal your money so that is what they always do when i just see it i just start laughing like since when the momo send people messages like this you have to be very careful another thing that they do is they actually just type your number do everything and then you just see a code will just come that's happened to me like three times i'll just sit they'll just be like this this person wants to withdraw fifteen thousand from your account confirm my dear if you confirm you are dead gone and buried <laughs> if you confirm that's where your money will just go people people they ask they are scamming out there i can see the last person that did that to me i showed her pepe like she called me called me the first time i picked i was just like i never see no nothing leave me she kept calling where auntie are back what, what what i kept telling her i've not seen it she was like so you want to chop my money i said yes i go chop up <laughs> I said yes, I'll eat it. She said, okay, I'll go and block it. I'll block it. You'll not be able to use the money. I was like, Auntie, please go and block it. You see, so those people there, eh, anybody that just calls me, I'll just be like, eh, hey, yeah, send me the money. Okay, thank you for the money. I will chop this money and nothing will happen to me. So that's something that's going on. You have to be really careful with mobile money. A lot of people these days are just scared to keep their money in mobile money, but I am not afraid of anything. I leave the money there. Try to scam to take my money. Let's see. <laughs> The last but not the least is going to be an aggression story. Is that is that even a word? No, uh, aggress aggressive. They aggressed me. <laughs> is that even English? Like they attacked me. Okay, so if you are in Zuala, you know that there are these guys that they call Nangamboko. Nangambokos are just basically street boys, boys that will just be walking around the streets attacking people. They sometimes they beg you, sometimes they attack you, straight so um when i was working at stv guys we always 
like the Nangabukos were always in front of our building because it's in Aqua and Aqua is the host of the greatest amount of Nangabukos in Douala okay so what I heard was that what they told us when we started working there was if you see these Nangamukos and you have money, just give them. Like, you could have 100 francs, 500, one, it just depends on you. When you see them, the day that you have money, just give them something. Okay, because those people, as much as they are thieves, they protect you. Okay, and another thing too that I learned about Nangamukos is that they are according to sect in sectors. Okay, so there will be the one that is around Zepo. There are some that are around Zepo, Glacé Modern. They have their own sector. The next sector is from um, mtn the next one they are working sector by sector okay <laughs> it's funny to say that thieves are working sector by sector and we are aware of it but that's how it goes they work in sect in ways in sectors or in sections or whatever so i can remember there was this day they asked me to go for i had to go and report it was just not far from the office it was just a walk we had to go to a driving school to ask some information about driving and stuff like that so um when you go they normally used to send us with a cameraman so they sent me with a cameraman and i i i left we left together but we forgot to take the recording tape so the cameraman was like okay he's already downstairs let me just take go back and take the tape so i took the tape i held it in my hand yeah i held it in my hand and i was walking when i was walking some guy that was selling whispered to me that be careful madam they are following you I was like, okay. I got scared. I was walking and passing guys. I, I passed my sector because normally a Nangaboko from my sector cannot follow me because by that time all of them knew me. So I was nervous. I was just walking and walking. I walked past and then this guy comes and he walks. Now when I just finished passing my sector, he just walked and stood in front of me. I was like, give me the phone i was like papa I don't have me a phone no i don't have phone my phone was in my back luckily on silence because when i was used to go out for work i used to silence my phone i'm like i don't have a phone he's like what is that what is that in your hand i showed him they're just they're just taped it's not a phone because inside his head me holding that tape i was holding the tape with confidence because i knew that it's a tape but since he did not know he thought that was my phone i was like no they are taped so i don't have nothing i don't even have money i'm going to go and meet with my cameraman like that i showed him the cameraman when he turned i saw the cameraman he just ran off see guys i was shaking i was like oh my god oh my god like because i've heard horrible stories about those people sometimes if they ask you money you refuse they use a blade to tear you they have torn people's faces torn people's bodies with blades so i was really scared another one like that had met me before when i used to do my monthly shopping at maima guys that's why i stopped shopping in maima i went i finished buying from maima and i crossed the road this guy saw me holding a lot of bags he just came and he was holding a blade and he just stood in front of me and he was like give me what you have i was holding 1500 francs in my hand inside the fear the shaking i just put everything in his hand as i was shaking i was shaking i was just like no no my man never again if i'm not going with the car because when you go with the car the car can park in the parking inside the underground parking you finish you pack your things you enter inside your car and you go if not that i'm not doing this again so it was really traumatizing those are just the things insecurity in Douala is real you have to be really really careful don't just hold things in your hand i see people walking making calls in aqua anyhow holding their phones bouncing i'm like nangamboko never touch you because even nangamboko touches you <laughs> you will be scared and like i said they will attack you and they will protect you there was this particular nangamboko that was always protecting me like every time i can remember when um i'm going to do a story time about this I, I looked for a job and i went for a training for this job so when i was doing that training it was still in aqua and it was at activa aqua and that section is not the section for stv at that time i'd finished working from stv i'm sure i already had no i but I'd, i was preparing for my wedding so at that time i was going there every morning and this guy saw me one morning and he was like 
what are you doing here because it was that one person that always used to protect me i always used to give him my money so he he liked me a lot he was like what are you doing here why are you working that sector is bad though that activa sector is bad because it's not that active it's not the main road the the zepol sector is even easier because it's the main road cars are passing but that activa part is a little private so they can cut you they kill you then nobody will even know they will know in the morning when people start coming to work in the activa building so he every morning when i come the guy used to wait for me to stop at zepo i stop at zepo he will walk with me because cars used to refuse to go to that activa place he would walk with me it was like a two minute walk he walk with me ensure that i stay um, inside the place then he leaves up to today each time i see him i give him something because i'm just like hmm. he himself he could still attack me if he, he felt like i'm holding money or he felt like he something has climbed on his head he could still attack me but he was always protecting me and for that i was always very grateful so yeah guys this is my story time for today what do you think do you have any experiences with these nangambokos with this momo theft with these guys in mutengene kumba all those places do you have any experience with them please let me know in the comment section let's discuss more about this thank you very much for watching and i am going to see you on my next one love you bye